everybody and welcome back to another video where today we are doing a firing comparison of the Nerf Rothka and the Nerf Strong Arm. Yes, two stamp icons have got a bad up wrist, so I'm carrying the lighter one in this hand. Pump action, pump action, pistol, shotgun. Let's get into this, boys, shall we? Yeah! First of all, we're doing a fire and comparison. Oh, he's the stronger. Yes, it's lighter, and I'm gonna have to do it. Let's just do it like this. So I've got my strong arm. I'm gonna do three shots. Just shot, pull back shot, pull back shot, and then we're gonna do three slam fires. Okay, you ready? Let's start. And I'm gonna tell you the results at the end, which one it shoots further. Which one's more accurate? Okay, that was three shots. Let's do three slab by that. So, I can already tell by the conclusion of this gun is that slab fire doesn't go very far, but it's got quicker fire pace. Shooting and then pulled back has got, it goes further, but it doesn't have quicker quicker firing pace. So I'm just going to show you another slam fire. It goes, that goes about five feet slam fire. And then the other ones go all the way to the end of that corridor. So let's get in with the next guys, gun. We're on to the rough cut. Oh. Hey guys, we're on to the rough cut. I'm going to show you a cup, a quick firing test of this gun. Hope you're enjoying this. I just need to go pick up a dot. I'll be back in a minute. Okay, I'm back and I got the dot. So I've got my dots all loaded up. Sorry about the hair go too quickly. But I'm going to start by doing the first two shots going. And then I'm going to do slab five. So are you ready? Let's start. Three, two, one. One. Okay, now for slam fire. Gonna hold. Watch jammed. Okay, the slam fire. I came to a conclusion already. The slam fire does not work on this thing. <laughs> but it, it's kind of the same if you do this and then do this. It's fine, and then if you go slam fire, it does exactly the same amount of power. It's both of them are not very accurate at all. But that's it. For, so that's it for the Nerf Strong Arm and the Nerf Rough Cut firing comparison. Ultimately, the conclusion is if you take a Rough Cut as your primary weapon, but then the strong arm is the best, best, best sidearm pistol you can get. It's both an XD versions. Ultimately, this one's better, but it depends what you're using for. If this is go, if you want to get this, fit this in a holster, you're better using this. If you want to have it as a primary, you're better using this. So, hope you enjoyed this video and. I enjoyed making it. Hope you liked when I failed to record the videos. Yeah, I just added those in there. But hope you enjoyed this video and make sure to like. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. Let's see if we can hit two likes on this video. And yeah.